In the last video in our poor man's covered call video series, I showed you how to turn a cash secured put option into a poor man's covered call. In this video, I'm going to show you how to roll a leaves call option that hasn't turned out the way you planned it would out in time. We're going to continue with our real life example of Meta Platform, ticker symbol MET, formerly known as Facebook, to demonstrate that for you. And I encourage you to stay tuned in until the very end of this video because there I'll tell you my thoughts on this overall position and what our plans are for the future with it. In the red box, you see that on February 8th, we bought the January of 2024 200 leaps call option. At the far right of that box, you see that it cost us $57.55 per share for that call option. We immediately turned this into a poor man's covered call by selling the third Friday of March 285 call option. That option expired a little over a month later. But we're not going to focus on the poor man's covered call portion of this position. Let's focus on the leaps call option that we bought and how we might consider rolling it out in time. Here you see that at the yellow arrows that on February 8th, when we bought this leaps call option, Meta Platform was trading for right at $220 per share. At that time, the $200 call option that we bought was right at $20 in the money. That means that the strike price of the call option we bought was $20 lower than where the stock was currently trading at. At that time, the delta of that $200 call option was right around 73. That meant that for the next dollar that made of platforms went up or down, the value of our leaps call option will most likely go up or down by 73 cents. And remember, that's always per share. I knew that there was the possibility that Meta might continue going down by the way the charts looked. And that's one reason why I switched over to a performance covered call. And as you can see, indeed, it has continued to decline. At the left of this arrow, that's when we entered this poor man's covered call and bought our leaps call option. At the right or at the point of that arrow, that's today. Meta is currently trading for $160.39 per share. So it's gone down in price by over $59 per share since we entered this poor man's covered call position. Now what's interesting about this leaps option, and it's one reason why I chose to use this strategy in this situation. What's interesting is that even though Meta has gone down by over $59 per share, our leaps call option has only gone down by $35 per share. So because we chose to use a leaps call option instead of letting the stock be assigned to us and doing a covered call, we've improved our position by $24.61 per share. So the position hasn't exactly gone our way. And we are very thankful that we chose to buy a leaps call option instead of own the stock outright. Now the question is, what do we do with this position? As you can see in the purple box, Meta Platforms is currently trading for right at 160 per share, but the leaps call option that we own is now out of the money because Meta has declined so much. As you can see in the orange box, if you follow the purple arrow over to the right, you see that we own the January of 2024 $200 leaps call option. Let's say for the sake of this example that we believe that Meta might be reaching a bottom. The challenge here is that as you can see at the yellow arrow, the January of 2024 $200 leaps call options delta has gone down to 0.459. That means for the next dollar that Meta goes up in price, our January of 2024 $200 leaps call option will only go up by 45.9 cents per share. If we believe Meta has reached a bottom, we probably want that option to go up in value faster than 45.9 cents per share for the next dollar that Meta goes up. So how can we adjust this position so that we receive more benefit if Meta Platforms begins to go up in price? Notice in the orange box that we have now switched the option chain over to the June of 2024 option chain. So this option chain expires about five months after our January of 2024 option. There are several things that I want to point out to you about this option chain. First, if our biggest concern is that we want our leaps call option to go up in value faster and we don't mind coming out of pocket more money for that possible benefit, then we want our delta to be higher. Notice in the orange box that I've selected the $85 strike price call option. In the yellow box, I've selected the $150 strike price call option. Notice that the purple arrows that the delta of the $85 call option is really high. This option will go up in value by almost 91 cents for the next dollar that made a platform goes up. On the other hand, notice in the yellow box at the purple arrow that the 150 call option will only go up by 69.2 cents per share for the next dollar that Meta goes up. Also notice now at the yellow arrow what theta is. Remember, theta is the estimate of how much this option will lose in value each day due to time decay. The $85 call option in the orange box that is deep in the money will only lose approximately 1.8 cents per share per day if everything else stays the same whereas the 150 call option in the purple box will lose right at three cents per share per day. However, another important factor to consider here is that if you look all the way over at the far left column under bid and ask, notice that the $85 call option in the purple box, that option is going for around $88 per share. Compare that to in the yellow box, 
you see that the 150 call option is selling for around $47 per share. So it will cost you about $40 per share less to buy this 150 call option as compared to the $85 call option. Yes, your time decay is higher with the 150 call option, and if Meta Platform goes up in price, it won't go up in value as fast as the $85 call option, but you're coming out of pocket a lot less money to buy the 150 option as compared to the $85 option. I also like that the open interest at the yellow arrow for the 150 option is a lot higher. Notice that there are over 1,500 contracts currently open in the 150 option, whereas in the $85 option, there's only 43 open contracts. So most likely you'll get a better fill price for the 150 option as compared to the $85 option. However, if your main concern is to benefit if Meta Platform goes up in price and you want as little time to get as possible, then you might consider the $85 call option. Here you see that if we put this order in by selling the January of 2024 $200 Leaps call option that we own and buying the June of 2024 150 Leaps call option, it will cost us about $25 per share or $2,500 to greatly increase our delta and to roll our strike price down by $50. By the way, if you want to be a more profitable stock and ops trader, please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. And if you're finding benefit in this video, please hit the thumbs up like button as well. Now you want to be careful with this because if Meta continues to go down from here, because you bought a lower strike price call option whose delta is higher than the one you currently own, that new option will lose more value for the next dollar that Meta drops because your delta is higher. Notice at the yellow arrow that the $200 January of 2024 call options delta is 0.46 or will lose 46 cents for the next dollar that Meta declines. Whereas at the purple arrow, you see that the new option, which expires in June of 2024 at the 150 strike price, it will lose 69 cents for the next dollar that Meta drops. So if you're considering rolling your strike price down, just know that you really want to make sure that to the best of your ability that the decline is finished. So the question now is, is this a trade that I'm considering doing and why or why not? Let me talk to you my thoughts on this position. First, please understand that what I'm about to tell you is just my opinion. I could be completely wrong here. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just simply talking through my thoughts on this position. Besides, you're going to be watching this video at least a couple weeks after I film it. So this information will be a little bit or maybe a lot of bit out of date. But I want to share my thoughts with you because if you're in a position where you're considering doing something like this, it's very important to try and get it right because there can be a big difference in profit and loss between getting it right and getting it wrong. Here are my overall thoughts when it comes to rolling a strike price down on a leaps call option that has gone against me. Let's start with the left daily chart. Let me first tell you what I like about this chart. Notice at the white line that it appears that made us trying to find support around 155. It's been hanging out in this general area for about a month and a half. I like that. It gives me hope that it might be forming a bottom here. However, if we look down the volume section in the white box, we see the volume is fairly evenly distributed, except that three of the four spikes in volume were on down days. However, the recent high volume red down day that happened five days ago that day was actually just a slightly down day because the buyers and sellers were pretty much equal. That tells us that the sellers tried to push the stock down, but the buyers came back in and were able to push it back up enough so that it was almost at a break even by the end of the day. So far, in looking at the daily chart, I'm somewhat on the fence here with what to do. I don't see them to get me excited that made this downward move is definitely over. But now let's take a look at the right chart, the weekly chart. First, notice up top at the yellow line that made it has been stuck for about four months below that yellow line which is the area that served as support for it. Remember that support, once broken, it typically turns into resistance. That's exactly what we see going on here. Over the past two months, Meta has not been able to finish a week above this area of resistance. It did penetrate it three weeks ago, but by the end of the week, it was right back below this yellow area of resistance. So that's not looking too bullish either. Down the volume section in the yellow box, Notice that last week was a fairly high volume week. When you look up at the candlestick coupled with that strong volume week, you see that it was a pretty strong down week. Now, several weeks ago, we had one nice strong up green week. But from everything I'm seeing here, I just don't feel confident that Meta's downward move is over. Now, it could be completely wrong. This area looks to be trying to serve as support, and it might end up holding as support. But I'd like to see some more positive things happen before I roll my leap strike price down. First of all, I'd like to see Meta break out above the green 50 moving average on the daily chart. I'd also like to see it make several higher highs on that daily chart. Over on the weekly chart, I'd like to see that it's also made a higher high and or a higher low. And none of that has happened yet. So for now, I'm going to sit tight with the Leaps call option that I own. But while we wait, we've been continually selling near term call options against the position so we're continually decreasing our call spaces. When I see Meta switch over to a more bullish looking situation, at that time I'll consider rolling our strike price down 
as we roll it out in time. If you'd like to receive alerts when we do trades, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. It's vital that you pick the correct option trading technique in the right situation if you want to maximize your profit as an option trader. To help you know when is the right situation to use a poor man's covered call, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, How to Trade a Poor Man's Covered Call. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.